Hi everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to discuss how and why we would take emails from our inbox and push them into Microsoft OneNote. So OneNote is a great tool for being able to aggregate information from all over the place, from websites and from real life and things like that. And so of course, one of the ways that we get our information every day is through our inbox. And it's nice to be able to do something like take this email from Michelle, for example, and make sure that it's saved into OneNote, not just because of the content of the email, but also because Michelle included a, an attachment. And if she included an attachment, well, then maybe the attachment's going to be really important for me in the long run. So if we go over to Microsoft OneNote, we pop that open, we could decide to hit the drop down menu here and make a new notebook for a specific project that we had in mind. So I'll click here on add a notebook and within my OneDrive account for business, I'll click on browse here and I will go ahead and name this some important project that I have coming up. So I'll call this Project Yosemite. And then, as you can see here, I'm saving it into my work OneNote, or excuse me, OneDrive account. Click on Create there, and I have a new notebook being created in OneDrive. I won't invite any people yet. And let's say that for this project, there's going to be sections for people. There's going to be sections for uh, financial info, sections for planning, Oops. planning, and sections for um, execution. Okay, so we've got sections for different pieces of information. And so, for example, when I go back to Outlook and I see this email from Michelle and it's got a spreadsheet in it, maybe this email with its spreadsheet should go into the financial section of this new notebook that I have. So up here at the top of the screen, I've got a forward to OneNote button, a send to OneNote button, if you will. I click on send to OneNote, and here under all notebooks, you see that I have Project Yosemite as a possible option. And then I can specify that I want this email saved into the financial info section of the Project Yosemite uh, notebook. Click OK. And just like that, the email information gets put into that section. I can see that there's a listing for it on the pages right over here. And if I need to get access to this Excel spreadsheet, the Excel spreadsheet is available for me to open up. So it says I'm going to open attachment there. Okay, so that's one level. You find an email as it comes in and you say, I know where this needs to go. I'm going to push send to OneNote and I'm going to specify not only what notebook, but also what section in that notebook I'm going to use. But there's another way to deal with this as well, because sometimes we are not in front of our desktop machine. Sometimes we have this where we're going to be sending information there all the time, just constantly pushing information into OneNote. And so continuing to go through that whole process might get a little tedious. So let's look at some of the options that we have at our disposal. If I go over here to this web browser, you'll notice that if I go to OneNote.com slash email to OneNote, I can set this up so that anytime I forward an email to me at OneNote.com, see that address right there, it automatically gets put into a OneNote notebook. So I'll click on set up an email to OneNote. It might ask me to log in as myself here in just a moment. All right, and so now I've put in the email address and on the drop down menu here, I can specify which location I want to save this to. And notice here, Project Yosemite is one of those locations. So I will send this by default into the planning section of the Project Yosemite notebook. But notice here on the right, so forwarding to me at OneNote.com, emailing anything at all to me at OneNote.com will automatically drop it into the Project Yosemite notebook and into the planning section of that notebook. But over here on the right, notice it says all you have to do is go into the subject line somewhere and include the at symbol 
and then the section name. So I'll click Save on this, and let's just see whether that's going to work or not, right? So the email settings were saved appropriately. Let me go over to Microsoft Outlook here and see whether I can forward something to me at OneNote.com. So here's an email from Letitia. I decide that I want to immediately send this to me at OneNote.com. I could click on Forward and then put me at OneNote.com right here. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make a quick step for it. So I will click on Create New. I'll call this one Forward to OneNote. And the action will be, of course, as you can imagine, uh, forward the message to me at OneNote.com. There it is. So I click on finish and now rather than having to hit the forward button and fill in the information, I have this forward to OneNote button that I can press, push send, and let's see whether it ended up in the Project Yosemite Notebook. So we were sending it into the Project Yosemite Notebook and specifically into the planning tab of that notebook. And there it is. You can see that um, it's not quite as beautiful as the push button option uh, because it did add the signature in there and the forward um, abbreviation at the beginning of the title, uh, but it is there in there. So if you were on your phone and you hit forward to uh, me at onenote.com, it would instantly show up in this section of your notebook and you wouldn't have to have the desktop version. On top of that, if you didn't have the OneNote plugin at work, you could always still use me at onenote.com, use a quick step to forward it, um, etc. So being able to push a button and send something to OneNote is valuable and being able to forward an email to OneNote is also very valuable to me.